So in this Starfield video, I'm going to be sharing with you all 15 secret features that you might not known about. Hopefully you find this enjoyable and it's able to help you out. If you do find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leave a reminder here in the beginning. It'd be cool to see this video surpass, I don't know, 100 likes or something. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of these. Alright, so this first secret feature I'll be showing you all is what happens sometimes while you are driving the Mantis ship. In case you don't know how to get the Mantis ship, I'll leave a link in the description below to a video guide over how to get it. As you can see, the ship is called the Razor Leaf, and yeah, here's what happens sometimes when you get in battle when you're traveling to another planet. They literally fear the mantis and take off so you can avoid some fighting in your ship. I'm not exactly sure if this is triggered only while driving the ship or if this is triggered also while wearing the mantis armor because you also get the mantis armor as well as the ship. But either way, this is a neat feature that you might have not known about that can happen with it. All right, so this next hidden feature is a simple one but a very useful one to know about. And that is over how you can get your companions to wield different weapons and also wear different outfits. All you got to do is go up to your companion and talk to them and then choose the option to let's trade gear. All right, so once you're here, you then just want to give the companion something you're wanting them to use. Like, for example, here I go to apparel and I'll give Sarah this UC Gray Utility Jumpsuit. I'll also give... Uh, Sarah a decent weapon too. I'll give her this Tesla Scouts drum beat. Okay, so anyways, once you've given your companion what you want them to use, to get them to use what you gave them, all you gotta do is go over to their inventory, which you can see how to go over to their inventory at the bottom right. For example, on Xbox, you just gotta press LB. And then once you're over here at their inventory, you just go to what you want them to use, like I'll go to weapons, and I'll go down to this Tesla Scouts drum beat. I can get Sarah to equip this weapon by pressing Y if I'm on the Xbox. You can see how to do that at the bottom. So yeah, now she is wielding this awesome weapon, and I can get her to wear this UC Gray Utility Jumpsuit by once again doing the same thing, pressing Y to equip it on her. So if I back out, check it out. She's now officially wearing the jumpsuit and she has the weapon. Pretty handy. <laughs> Alright, so this next little hidden feature is over how to restock vendors. This is definitely beneficial to take advantage of because this is how you can really stock up on like ammunition or med packs or whatever. Like for example here, to stock up on some ammo, just go to a weapon and ammo shop somewhere and then of course purchase the ammo that you're needing. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then once you purchased all the ammo that you're wanting from the vendor, to restock the vendor, all you gotta do is just sit down somewhere and wait 24 hours. Some vendors take 48 hours to restock, but for this weapons and ammo shop, it just takes 24. So I just waited 24 hours. Now all I gotta do is get up from where I was waiting at and then trade with the vendor again. And you'll notice the ammunition that I just bought all of is available again, as you can see. So yeah, you just rinse and repeat this cycle to fully stock up on some ammo or med packs once again, whatever you're trying to get a lot of. Definitely something handy to know about. Okay, so this next feature is a really handy one to know about, and that is where you can go to store literally everything that you can get without having to worry about it ever filling up or a storage capacity whatsoever. All you gotta do is head to the lodge at New Atlantis, which if you played Starfield, you should know where the lodge is located at. And once you're here, you want to head into the basement of the place, which is this way from the entrance, and check this out. Over here at this chest, you will notice that it literally has no limit of what you can store inside of this. So you can store all of your goodies in here without having to worry about it ever running full. This is a way where you can just you know take a massive load off within your inventory without once again worrying about a storage capacity. And you can always come back here if you want to use something from out of this chest. 
Just go to transfer on the chest and then go over to your inventory and store the things that you want in it. Also, you don't have to worry about, you know, your items disappearing from this chest either. Anyways, this next little feature that I want to show you all that I think you guys are going to find handy is how you can just quickly transfer things into your ship. I mean, you can be pretty far from your ship and still be able to do this feature that you may have not known about. As you can see, I'm this far from my ship right now, and if I pull up the menu and go to ship, I can press X for cargo hold, and this is where you can just transfer things quickly to your ship without having to even go inside of it. Also, you can get them out too really quick as well. I can transfer things back out that I just stored in there or that I have stored in there. Pretty handy to know about. Anyways, this next feature is over how you can heal any problems that you have with your character really easily. Like right now, for example, I have a crippling problem. When I go to run, it states that I'm crippled and yeah, I'm not able to run as long with this problem going on. A quick way to handle this is by going to a doctor in a major city. Like for example, here at New Atlantis, you can find a doctor from the spaceport here over this way. Just head this way, it's a little past the Terra Brew coffee shop area. And yeah, over here you can find an elevator which you can use to fast travel to a place called The Well. This is where the medical bay is located at in New Atlantis. Just head on inside the medical area and talk to the doctor here. As you can see, she'll be able to heal my character completely. Once you talk to the doctor, just say, I need help, doc. And yeah, you can pay some credits to make her take care of everything going wrong with your character easily. I have some wounds going on and I have some afflictions going on. And I can have her take care of everything by paying 750 credits. A simple way to get your character back healthy. Alright, so this next little hidden feature is over how you can cut down certain walls. As you can see, if you find something like this around in an area, all you gotta do is attack the pins that are on each corner of this wall, and this will grant you access to a little secret area that you can utilize in the place. Pretty cool. <coughs> Alright, so this next feature is over how you can sleep to heal your health instead of wasting a med pack. You can also find beds sometimes out and around combat too that could benefit you from using med packs. So yeah, if you literally just sleep at least for one hour, it will heal you all the way. And another little hidden feature I wanted to show you all is how you awaken feeling well rested. Yeah, if you awaken feeling well rested, this will gain you bonus experience. Just press the menu and then press status by pressing Y if you're on Xbox. And yeah, as you can see, you get a 10% XP gain. This is just like Fallout 76 if you feel well rested in that game. You also get bonus experience. Pretty neat. Alright, so this next feature is a simple one, but a really convenient one to know about. Especially if you're into decorating or if you want to use it uh, for combat too, you can use this for combat as well. And what I'm talking about is how you can pick up items. Like, for example here, if you hold in A on Xbox, you'll be able to pick up this picture frame. And if you're on PC, you just hold in E to pick up the item. And then you can move it around to anywhere you want it to be. And once you leave the ship and come back in, it'll still be at that same spot that you left it at. Another useful thing to know about while you are holding the item, you could turn it by pressing left trigger or right trigger. That'll turn it in different directions. And if you're on PC, just left click and right click. Also, you're able to change the axis of the turn as well. This is when it gets a little bit more complex, but all you gotta do is press in the left stick if you're on Xbox, and that will change the way that you're moving the object. And if you're on PC, hold in shift, and then you can move the object a different way by using the left click and right click, or if you're on Xbox, right trigger once again and left trigger. So yeah, that's how you change the axis of how you want it to move. And once again, once you do place the item, it will stay there. I'll go ahead and show you all uh, for an example on how it works. I'll just go ahead and leave out of my ship and I'll come back in and that picture frame will still be in that exact spot that I left it at. This is how you can, you know, decorate your ship how you want it. Placing items wherever you want them to be. Yeah, see, check it out. The uh, digi frame is still there. So yeah, that's a little handy feature to know about. You can also throw the object too. Which this is more useful if you like have an explosive container or something that you can shoot to blow up. You throw the item by pressing X. You can make it go flying out there and then boom shoot it if it's like an explosive item. Uh, this 
has explosive bullets on it. In case you're wondering, did the Digiframe just blow up? No, this weapon just has explosive bullets. Anyways, this next feature I want to show you is how your ship can basically have infinite cargo storage. I mean, there's another thing I'm going to be showing you here in a second where you can store loads of stuff in it, but you can literally just drop tons of stuff in this too. As you can see, I'll go ahead and give you all an example here. Um, you can just drop, you know, your whole inventory and not have to worry about it disappearing. Like, it'll stay in the ship. Keep in mind, though, uh, be careful when you select the new ship, though, if you go and do that, because that will actually get rid of your items if you still have them on the ship that you just deleted or got rid of for a new one. Yeah, uh, don't do that. <laughs> Let's just say that that happened uh, before. And it, it, it just wasn't a good time, all right? <laughs> so yeah, that's how you can lose the items actually on your ship, but I'll go ahead and give you all an example. I'll leave the ship and when I come back, it'll still be here and you can fast travel around, do whatever you want, play the game just like how you want. I literally had things stored on my ship all the way until the end of the game. Like I just had it there laying around on my ship. Like I, I just stocked up on stuff I could sell pretty much and yeah, just kept it on my ship and just sold a lot of it over time to get a good amount of credits. But yeah, going back up to the top and check this out. Bada bing, bada boom. All my stuff is still here. Yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, this next simple feature is something that you could use to navigate a little faster around in the game. If you hold in the menu button, you'll immediately go to where you're able to fast travel at. You can just skip the process of going to menu and going to the star map. You can just immediately go to uh, the fast travel menu here. So it's a quick way to navigate. I mean, I know you can also go to your missions and quickly fast travel like that, but this is just another quick way that you might have not known about to pull up the fast travel menu. Next up here, speaking of space navigation, while you're out in space here, in case you didn't know, you can actually destroy these little asteroids that are floating around. Check this out. And these little asteroids will contain resources. You never know what you're going to really get inside them. They contain all kinds of different stuff. But yeah, once you destroy the asteroid, if you just pull up your scanner, you can see that it's a mineral deposit. And these contain different minerals within them. All right, so I got water and ionic liquids from that one. Makes sense I got those minerals because I am right next to a frost planet. Let's see what's in this other one. There's tons of asteroids to destroy. This is a great way to farm resources. All right, just water in that one. But yeah, you get the point. You're going to be finding different kind of minerals depending on what planet you're close to. It's not always going to be water. Let's see what's inside this giant one. All right, bunch of water and ionic liquids, which once again makes sense because I'm right next to this frost planet. This next one I wanted to show you, this next one I wanted to show you, which is a really neat one, is if you notice on the different sides of the planet, one side is bright and the other side is dark. That is actually how the sun is shining on the planet currently. So this is good to know because when you land on the planet, so this is good to know because this actually helps you avoid like solar radiation and you know this helps you avoid certain things that could happen to you like for example if a planet is super cold it might be best to land on the side that the sun is currently shining on because you know it'd be a, a bit more warmer on this side or if the planet is super hot or something maybe it'd be better to land on the side that the sun isn't shining toward, where, you know, it would be more shady and cooler, if that makes sense. It's also good to know you are able to fast travel anywhere on the planet. All you gotta do is just set a landing target by pressing A. It's also good to know that you are able to fast travel anywhere on the planet as well. Like I was mentioning, you know, it might be best to land on the sunny side at a very cold planet, and it'd be best to land on the more shady side on a very hot planet. And how you can choose where you want to land is just by setting landing target. And yeah, you can literally just fast travel right here on the planet. 
Anyways, this next thing I want to show you all are the different boost packs and their capabilities. If you go to inventory and then go to your packs, you will notice some of them have different capabilities. Like this one has a power boost pack. This one has a skip capacity boost pack. And this one is a basic boost pack. Since they don't really explain what they do, I'll go ahead and cover some of these because they are beneficial to know about. The basic boost pack is like this. It's just, you know, your ordinary kind of boost pack. The uh, power boost pack, which is one of my personal favorites, what this does is actually gets you to boost higher. Check out that. So if you're wanting to go higher with your boost packs, this is something to definitely keep in mind what modifications are on it. And lastly here, I'm going to go over the skip capacity boost pack, which this provides 50% faster boost regeneration than the basic boost pack. So you're able to fly a bit longer. Your boost regenerates faster. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video. Hopefully you learned something new out of these different features that are in the game. I'm out of here though. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.